In just the last 10 minutes, the jurors in the John Wiley Price trial started heading home for the day. It wraps up a second day of deliberations at the Dallas County Commissioner's corruption trial. Our Steve Pickett live for us outside the Cabell Federal Courthouse in Dallas with what happened there today. Steve. Well, we watched uh, Commissioner Price and Ms. Payne leave this courthouse within the last 10 minutes. As you know, it's now into essentially eight hours a day of deliberations. This jury facing uh, 13 counts they have to consider with this case. Uh, John Price's legal team fought against those allegations with fervor during closing arguments earlier this week. This jury must determine if the federal government has proven beyond reasonable doubt that the longest serving elected county commissioner spent the past decade decade, trading his vote for $1 million in payoffs from consultant Kathy Neely. Now, Neely's trial comes later, so Commissioner Price and his chief of staff, Daphne Fain, deny any acts of lying to FBI agents, uh, hiding cash to avoid taxes, and or taking bribes. Now, legal analysts tell us uh, they have seen these types of cases, white collar crime cases before. It should come as no surprise that it's taking uh, this amount of time for this jury. Eight hours a day and day number three, they come right back here at 8.30 in the morning. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.